Lisa Nugent was born in New York City in either 1992 or 1993. I'd love to tell you more detailed info on the life of this little girl before tragedy struck, but unfortunately, that's not easy information to come by. Lisa was born to a woman by the name of Christine Nugent. Lisa was an adorable toddler who was full of smiles. Like most children her age, love, affection, and care are what a child needs. But Lisa got the exact opposite of that. Because once her so-called mother's boyfriend moved in, Lisa's world would become filled with nothing but pain and neglect. The boyfriend's name was Barry Rodrigo, a monster who had no intention of ever being loving to Lisa. After a few months of having him live in the same home as Lisa, the abuse would begin, and the so-called mother turned a blind eye as her daughter took beatings non-stop. A neighbor who often babysat Lisa would say the following, She had bruises on her arms and sides. She'd had bruises on her cheeks. She always had a bruise on her forehead. We kept asking her mother about it and she would say she just slipped. That girl was so terrified she could not eat. I fed her soups. There were bald spots where her hair was pulled out. Her sister told me she always hated that man because he hits her sister. It was clear to those around that Lisa was not safe and she was under the care of two monsters, and many people reported this. Rodrigo had been beating Lisa relentlessly for five months. Whenever she would wake up with a wet diaper, Rodrigo would force the child to sit on the toilet for hours as punishment. Other times, she was made to stand on one foot with her arms stretched out for hours at a time. Domestic calls were often made to their home for domestic disputes between Christine and Rodrigo, but the calls were always made for Christine since she was often beaten. She chose to never ever tell authorities that her child was the one on the verge of losing her life as these beatings became more and more severe. Again, she turned a blind eye and left Lisa to fend for herself. And on July 19th of 1995, Lisa's torment would come to an end when 911 was called to the family's home on Father Capadano Boulevard in Staten Island. When authorities arrived, they'd find little Lisa's body on the floor of the apartment, covered in bruises, the victim of a vicious and callous beating. This man would deliver a blow so hard to Lisa's body that the cause of death was determined to be caused by blunt force, because when he hit her, he tore her intestines, resulting in a quote, painful, protracted death, according to the prosecutors. She was pronounced dead at University Hospital later on that evening, and all because this man became so enraged that she wouldn't use the toilet at two years old. When it comes to a helpless child, there should be an automatic life sentence for situations such as these. Barry Rodrigo was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. He's been rejected by the parole board numerous times as he's tried to regain his freedom when he shouldn't even have parole to begin with. Christine Nugent was sentenced to 18 to 54 months, a maximum of five years, when she should have also been put into prison for life. May little Lisa Nugent rest in peace. You aren't forgotten.